What's up, guys? This is Ed. I just want to come at you today with uh, with another maintenance video. Uh, I'm coming from the lake, and I, I thought about it. I said, you know what? I know there's a lot of videos out there about uh, you know bearings on the trailer, things of that nature, spindles, and things like that. But I thought it was real important for me to share with you guys what I have experienced with that and how I have dropped the ball on my trailer. And you guys have referenced the other videos, especially the one where uh, the NEMA 2000 video, where I talked about how boat maintenance is very important to me. And at the same time, I dropped the ball on trailer maintenance. So this video, I want to talk about trailer maintenance a little bit, and I'm going to give you some perspective on what I went through uh, uh, with this with this situation. And uh, I'm not going to show in detail how to change ball bearings and things like that, but it needs to be done yearly. They need to be inspected yearly. And uh, what I've done this time is when I had when my bearings went out this time, what I done was I put uh, a bearing buddy on there. I put a bearing buddy. And I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna let you see that bearing buddy here. Um, and that is where you can add grease because in the trailer that I have, it's called the flex trailer. Uh, my boat is a Skeeter. Uh, it's made by. In uh, the trailer is made by Skeeter as well. And the flex trailer, what it has is, you can buy the spindle arm uh, without having to do it and put it on without having to do any welding or anything like that. And I think that is just awesome. I think that is just awesome because most of these boat trailers come, you gotta, you gotta take it somewhere, they gotta cut it, then they gotta weld it back and things of that nature. And, and you just don't wanna do those things. You just, you just, Skeeter, Skeeter trailers are just so, I mean, they just make things so easy. Skeeter, uh, maintaining the Yamaha engine, uh, maintaining the trailers now uh, that I'm understanding. I was able to, once I, once I blew that hub, and guys, you know, I made a mistake and I'm gonna come back to that. But once I blew that hub, I was able to order that spindle right because i roughed that spindle up pretty bad i was able to order that spindle uh take the other spindle off put that spindle on make the adjustments needed to get the tires situated to where they're even on both sides and boom i was back on the road i was back on the road so now what i did do wrong is uh is taken for granted that uh all bearings don't need to be inspected. And they do need to be inspected because we put these trailers in and out of water. And um, if you fish like I do, you put them in and out of water all year round. Uh, we don't winterize the boats out here where I'm at. Um, there's no winter, we don't winterize them. Uh, we barely winterize our RV trailers. I mean, cause it just don't get that cold like that. It just doesn't get cold like that. So we don't, we don't winterize them. Um, but getting back to the trailer, uh, I went three years without actually inspecting or greasing the ball bearings in my trailer. Big mistake. So on the third year, one of them failed and it failed on my way from the lake. And I was so in disbelief, I forgot to get footage when the baron actually failed. When it actually, uh, I mean, it was shredded. It was no bearing in there. Uh, everything was melted and it got so hot that it had just completely disintegrated everything in there. And it, if it hadn't been for the brake caliper and the brake caliper support, the tire would have just flew off the trailer. It would have just poof, it had been gone. So, it had been gone. And that would have been unfortunate. I'm glad it didn't happen. So um, keep the brake calipers on those trailers because when those bearings go, the wheel will go 
running. And uh, in my case, I was able to get home because of the caliper that it was still on there and it was holding the, uh, the, the wheel onto the trailer and I was able to, you know, crawl home. I was driving real slow, things of that nature. And, um, you know, so, you know, I just wanted to come on here uh, and let you guys know the importance of, uh, I don't want you guys to, you know, what happened to me to happen to you. So I just thought I would come on here, share that with you. Uh, I hope you get something out of this video. Um, maintain your, your boat trailer. Uh, if you can't get to the water, if you can't get the boat to the water, you, the boat is, if you can't get it to the water, you can't use it. And the trailer is the main thing that gets that to the water. So there you have it, guys. Maintain your boat trailers. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's very helpful to you. And uh, if you feel like it, subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll catch you on the next one. And I'm out. Peace.